Debbie with the Crafty Diamond. In today's video, I am going to be kitting up this cute little cat. It is a 30 by 40 and it's from New Craft Day. New Craft Day sent this to me to review it on my channel and to show you guys. I will include that up in the eye so you will be able um, to take a look at the unboxing if you would like. And this is a very small one. Um, it has 23 colors. I am going to be doing this as part of Drills and Chills. I already have a large canvas that I'm going to do, but I thought in between canvases, this would be really cute to do. And um, also to either put in my portfolio that I have or to actually even frame this small one because I do have a black cat. I don't think this will take me very long because the cat is 310, the entire cat except for the eyes. So I think that will be rather quick. Um, also with this one, normally what I do whenever I kit up any type of canvases that do not come with the stickers, I will go ahead, I will scan it in to my printer and then I'll print it out and then I will run it through my Xyron to make stickers with it. But I am having problems with my printer today. It will not connect, it's a wireless printer. We've been having some problems with it. I cannot get it to connect and I'm tired of fooling with it. I wanna get this kitted up and so I will have to work on that later or get my husband to look at it he seems to be better with the printer than I am. So I will have to just kit up by numbers. I would normally never do that, but with this one being so small, I think that I will be able to do it and I think that it will be okay. At least I'm getting it out of baggies into my bottles. And so I don't think that it will be too terribly bad. So all that I did is I had some labels and I just took my containers that I purchased this from Amazon. And this came with DP with sparklers, I believe, or this, the sparklers came with Distracted by Diamonds, one of the two. And so I just numbered these with um, a pen and some of these actually um, are smeared a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I'm okay with that um, because this is so small. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put everything else here that I need. I have my containers that are numbered here. I have my drills. And then I have a boat just in case that I need it. I think for the most part that these are going to be by number and order, I hope. So this one's number 23, it is white. And I may even add a few sparklers with this, especially on the cat's eyes um, possibly, or even in the moon and the stars. Normally I would not do that with um, a small um, kit, especially um, a small kit um, like this one, but from a discount um, store, but I think I may, just because it is a cat, and I have not done a black cat yet, so I think that I may do that um, for this one. So far, these are not very staticky, so that's definitely a good thing. I'm just gonna put my trash over the side. I may, I don't usually keep these baggies. Okay, so this one's number 21. There's gonna be some green that will be like um, around where the wine is. And the uh, drills are round. I don't think I mentioned that either. I'm having a terrible time holding this bottle still. It's wanting to tilt. There is a little bit of static in this one. And I don't think that the static is from the um, canvas. Um, or the reason that the static is because of where, you know, it was purchased or where I received it. But I was working on one yesterday that did not have any static at all when I put them in my containers. 
And when I was working on diamond painting yesterday, I noticed that um, there were a couple of colors that were extremely staticky in my containers. So I do believe that it is because of the humidity here that was causing that. I put a dryer sheet in there and it's fine. That was actually um, Laloon that I'm working on um, from DIY Moon Shop. I worked on it almost all day yesterday. And when I'd worked on it on Friday, there wasn't any static at all or very little. So I'm not sure what happened between Friday and Sunday, but it was just really strange. I'm gonna try to get these in here. These are a little staticky. And there was one color that was just really bad. Even my husband was sitting next to me and he noticed and was asking what that was. And once I put the bounce sheet in there and I shook it up really good and kept it overnight, I looked at it again this morning and it seemed to be a lot better. These bottles are a little big for this, but it is fine because that way I won't have to worry about saving any of the, the drills anywhere else. And I'm thinking as small as this is, and there's so much color blocking, I can probably get this done in like maybe three to four days. I think this is gonna be the easiest way for me. Um, three to four days with this one. So I may even take a break in between working on my large canvas I'm gonna be doing and just doing this one day. I'm trying to do less canvases at one time. I don't see anything changing with that until probably sometime next year because I am still working on some rather large ones. Um, one I am definitely going to finish by the end of this year, that is Diana. And the next week or two, you'll be seeing an update on that one. It's coming along really nice. Let's see, this is number 18. I know I'm not gonna like doing it this way. I can already, I already know that when I go to diamond paint this, I am not gonna like the fact that the drills do not have the symbols on them. I never even look at the legend that is on the side of canvases. So I'm probably going to regret this, but because it's so small, it will be okay. I could even go back once I get my printer working, I could even go back if I needed to, and I can put those on there and replace these numbers. That will be a thought if I just absolutely can't stand it. I might can make do for a couple of days while I'm working on this one. I can sit in our den and work on this one and watch TV with the family, which is what I'm kind of starting to do with some smaller ones, working on those as well in the evenings. I found a good way that I can do it as long as it's small. I can't do any large ones. I actually did that with um, Laloon. It was not really small but it worked out really nice where I could just diamond paint pretty much all day yesterday. I am filming this on, I just moved the camera. I'm filming this on Monday. And so you will see this either on Tuesday or Thursday. I think this one's going to go out on Thursday. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're at number 15. I am really looking forward to um, Drills and Chills and also um, Festival of Witches. I've never done Festival of Witches, so I think that's gonna be fun. And there's one that said yesterday that it was out for delivery and it did not show up yesterday. I didn't think it would on a Sunday, but hopefully I will get that one today. And that's another um, DIY moon shop. And so I'm hoping that I will be able to get to that one in October. And that will just be another fun one that I'll do for Festival of Witches.
I don't know. I just have gotten my other tray. I like it better than this one for this. I love this tray. This was from Add, Add More Zest. It's coming out the sides. This tray is really too big to use for this. But it's okay. I'll just clean up my mess. I always have to have at least one mess. And these will all fit in here, so that's good. I really, I've got plenty of these containers. If I need to go to a second container, which I probably will when I get to the 310, more than likely it'll have to go into two of these. But I have plenty of extras in this container. This is kind of a large container um, to be using for this small number of drills. But it's one of the few that I have left to use. I have several others, the ones that are connected, but I don't want to use those with this because if I decide to go ahead and kit up by putting the, the symbols on, then it may not be in the order that I want it to be in on those that are connected. And I didn't want to use my Elizabeth Ward for this. I don't have very many small containers of Elizabeth Ward left. I have the larger ones and the mid-size, so I didn't want to do that either. There's a pink drill that was in there from the last time that I kitted down. I don't know when I'm going to have a de-kitting because I am not close to finishing anything. That's the bad thing about working on all large paintings at one time is that you don't have a finish rather quickly or anytime soon. This is a tin. It's over here. Looking at these sideways. These are really pretty drills. I don't see any, any problems with them. I hope that I have enough um, because the last one that I did that um, is also underneath the, the unboxing, I ran out of the special drills and I don't know if I have any more of those. I don't think that I do for the special drills. So now I've got two flowers that have nothing on them. But on these, at least these are regular drills, and so I may have some to replace if I need to. And a lot of these colors, I can tell that I have some. They may not be the same color, but I have some that are similar. This yellow is really pretty. And usually I have plenty of drills from them, but on that last one I didn't. This one's going to be a pretty purple. even thought about putting this in our kitchen or in the hall leading into the kitchen. Just something different. I don't always include my paintings around my house. I thought this would be cute because of our cat. And our cat's name, she is solid black. She has a little bit of white under her chin. But her name is Salem, and she is seven. It's hard to believe that we have had her for seven years. We got her when we think she was between three and five weeks. Someone dumped um, some kittens at a friend who works for a vet and asked my daughter if she would like one. And I've never had a cat before. And my daughter was shocked when I told her that I wanted her. I wanted one of the kittens. When she asked me, she just assumed I was going to say no. And she was really surprised when I told her I wanted her. I just saw her and I said, there's something about this cat. We need to get her. And even my husband was shocked. He's like, you've never had a cat. You don't like cats. But now I absolutely love cats. Let's see, this is number four. So these are a little bit out of order, not too horribly bad. But I'm coming up to the 310 and I can see already 
that on the three tins, it's going to take a couple of these bottles. These are really pretty drills. They're really pretty colors. Let's see. Yeah, this one. Let's see how many bags I have of this. I just have the one bag. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to... I really wish I had another tray. Pour just a few in here. And I'm going to have to put these in another one. This is the only one that is going to take up more than one bottle. So I don't necessarily have to label it. I can label it after the fact if I want to. Okay. This may even take three. We'll see. I cannot believe that it's almost September. And then it seems like once it hits October, because we like to go to a lot of the fall festivals and different things. There's no point in loading that up. Um, that it goes by really fast once we get to September, middle of September, and then October goes really quickly. And then getting ready for the holidays. Okay. I may can get these in too. It may take three. Normally, I don't like a lot of color blocking, especially the darker colors. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this once I get to the cat, but at least it's round, so that will be a lot faster, too. I will use a multi-placer, and more than likely, I'll use a seven um, multi-placer. I don't like anything larger. I just can't seem to control anything larger than a seven. And it took me a long time to be able to use a seven. Let's see. I'll just put this in another one too. I'll put these on the bottom here just so I know what they are. I would love to be able to use like a 12 placer, but I, I don't think that that's going to happen. I'm doing good to use a seven. But maybe I'll use this one to practice on. That might be a thought. And I know if I run out of black 310s, I have plenty of these, so I'm not worried about that. I think all of these will fit, yeah. Even these 310s look pretty good. The darker ones, if you're going to have problems, it's usually going to be the darker drills that I've found, and especially with 310s. And I've gotten so used to 310s of Diamond Art Clubs that I'm kind of kind of have a hard time using any others. Okay, so I got those two. I think I will label those just so I know where they are. Let's see, this is number 22, so we are moving around just a little bit. It almost done. Okay. I got a little straggler in there. I probably did that myself. That's okay. I'll get that out when I go to diamond paint. I'm not worried about it. All right, so that's number 22. Let's see what I have left here. I have number nine. Just a little bit of pink in this one. Of course, the purple is going to be more on the wine, in the wine bottle. Like a dark plum, which I think is coming up. Okay, so that's number nine. Doesn't seem like there's very many drills. Wait, that's number one, not ten. Looking at it upside down. Okay. I always seem to do better pouring bags into a tray. 
and then from there pouring into my bottle. I have two more. I have number 11. That's a really pretty cream. And then number five, which is a gray. Okay. There's a few little pieces of I'm not sure what that is. Little strands. There's something in there, but that's fine too. I got that out. And then I've got number five, and that's this really pretty gray. So the last one. Put these two on here for labels. I don't have to really label them. I know there are three tens. I will write just on a piece of paper and put that along with a photo inside this little flap here. I will put Black Cat and then I will put a um, new craft day so I know which one that it came from. And then um, I will be ready to go with this one. And since I don't have a photo that came with this, I just usually take a photo on my, usually I will use um, my phone and then I will just print it out into a small little picture. And then I will um, include that in on my actual my actual flap here and then I will also include that once I'm done I will put that in my little log book with how long that's taken me and information regarding this kit so again here it is with the colors here I think that's gonna be really cute really cute addition for the fall I am a very seasonal or I want I really think I'm a seasonal diamond painter I like to paint, um, usually if it is going to be in the fall, I want to wait until something like this for the fall. It just reminds me of fall, reminds me of, you know, Halloween time, and especially when it says Black Cat Winery. So, I've, I've been waiting on this um, to, to even order it, and I thought, well, I want to go ahead and order it, and then I can do this one during um, drills and chills or just sometime in October if I decide that I just want to do it um, late in October. And I have a couple more that I'm really looking forward to doing as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are new and you have not subscribed, I would love for you to consider doing so. And for those of you that are already subscribed, thank you so very much. Also wanted to let everyone know, and it's underneath the description, that I have set up a Facebook group. I have the link under the description. You are more than welcome to go and post what you're working on now or any of your finishes. The only thing that I ask that you don't do is to um, include other links for self-promotion as well as links to other content creators. That is part of the rules that is not allowed. But otherwise, I would love to see what you are working on. I think that would be a lot of fun and for all of us to get to know each other. So uh, simply click on there and then um, I will approve you and you will be able to go into the Facebook group. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great crafty day. Bye.